Who doesn't like getting places quicker? On a 126 right now, the speed limit is 40 miles per hour. And all I want to do is raise it 20 miles per hour more. <laughs> and this little section of the road from Oleo to 237, it takes 10 minutes to drive it. If you increase the speed limit to 60 miles per hour, it'll take you seven minutes. Now, <laughs> now, going faster doesn't always mean it's not safer. But 40,000 people did die from car accidents last year. And let me tell you what we're gonna do to make it better. In a study done from Solomon on traffic operations and safety in Wisconsin, they did a test in their rural areas where they raised the speed limit from 45 to 60, and it showed a 5% less accident rate. Now, this also increased traffic flow. And sometimes when you're on 69 everything, it's moving fast, and then you get in big traffic jams when someone stops. It actually showed that that does not happen, and it's just a steady flow of traffic. Another study from an insurance company showed that the higher rates of speed showed less expensive accidents. Even though you're moving faster, people pay attention more, and they react quicker. In a study done by CBS News called Nine Ways to Get Killed, one, <laughs> one of their uh, categories was car accidents. And they did a study that said 50% of fatal accidents are caused by road rage. And there was also a study done by the same person, Solomon, that showed that the higher increase in speed, the less accounts of road rage there were. And another study done by uh, one second, I lost my cards. Oh, Access Magazine. Uh, did a study that showed that increasing the speed limit uh, resulted in a 5% less uh, casualty rate. So that means that the 40,000 people that died in the accidents in 2017, 2,000 of those were saved from increased speed limits. Now, doubters say that high speeds equals uh, more people that go over the speed limit. And Tom so weird from a traffic managing expert said that the higher rates of speed satisfied the drivers enough to where it actually showed a 2% decrease in how much people speed by. Usually when someone's driving on the road, they'll go five miles an hour and over to be a little safer. But there was, the study showed that the higher rates of speed gave a lower rate of speeding. So with that being said, when we are on 126 and we are going 20 miles per hour faster, we will get to where we are going faster. We'll be driving safer, and we'll all, we are also adding to the people saved from not dying in car crashes.